welcome we will start with very basic question when why why tool of investigation was first used answer is this technique of investigation was first developed by sakichi toyoda and was used within toyota motor corporation during the evaluation of its manufacturing methodologies next question why to use investigation tools in root cause analysis answer is usage of investigation tool provides systematic approach for root cause analysis it makes investigation report more presentable and it is regulatory expectation that investigation shall be carried out using appropriate investigation tool next question explain the process of yy analysis process of yy analysis can be done in four steps step 1 state the problem step 2 ask question as why did the problem occur in step 3 once you got the potential reason ask why that happened and step 4 do this exercise until you get root cause next very frequently asked question is whether it is compulsory to ask five questions in yy analysis the answer is no it is important to understand the real purpose of doing this exercise of asking questions yy tool for investigation is used to find root cause once the root cause is confirmed at third or fourth question further questions need not be included in other case if investigation team found that the root cause is not identified up to fifth question team can ask subsequent questions till the root cause identification next question for which type of investigation why what tool of investigation is better suited why what tool of investigation is most commonly used tool for investigation in pharmaceutical industry this tool of investigation is better suited for investigations related to human error machine or instrument breakdown system errors document errors etc next question whether we can use two investigation tools in one investigation answer is yes we can use two investigation tools in one investigation brainstorming tool of investigation is more commonly used in conjunction with other investigation tools five wise technique is also often used in combination with the fishbone diagram one simple and important question whether it is mandatory to ask all questions at same time answer is you do not need to answer all whys at the same time it is an investigation process and it will sometime requires you to go to the process and see things you could have missed at first next question how you will challenge the root cause identified from the yy tool for investigation answer is challenge the obtained root cause from the yy analysis to reproduce the same defect if you cannot reproduce the same defect then there is a very big chance that you have concluded with wrong root cause and if you are able to reproduce the same defect go ahead with the kappa actions next question for what purpose yy investigation tool is used in pharmaceutical industries answer is yy investigation tool is used for root cause analysis it is used for deviation investigation os investigation market complaint investigation incident investigation or any other failure investigations next question what are the key features of yy investigation tool which makes it more preferred here five key features of yy investigation tool are mentioned first is simplicity it is easy to use and requires no advanced mathematics or tools secondly it is effective tool third it is a flexible and works well alone and when combined with other methods fourth is it is engaging investigation tool and fifth is it is an inexpensive investigation tool and which does not require any additional cost how the first question should be designed keep first why short concise sentence and allow to plainly explain the reason to justify it there will be time to do that later on it in the following wise next important question what are the weakness of yy analysis investigation tool here few weaknesses of yy analysis investigation tool are mentioned first it has a tendency to stop prior to actual root cause secondly it is limited with current or available knowledge of personnel involved in the investigation it is very difficult to identify unknown fact using this tool and inability to go beyond the investigator's current knowledge 
the investigator cannot find actual causes that they do not already know results of using this tool are not always the same they varies with the investigator and person who is answering next important question what will happen if you don't ask right question answer is if you don't ask the right questions you don't get the right answers asking right question is the key for viva analysis next question give one example for application of viva analysis investigation tool to do this we will take one deviation example deviation description is files with glass particles were observed more than acceptable limit in the batch manufacturing record at visual inspection stage based on this deviation description we will ask our first why or the first question as why files with glass particles were observed more than acceptable limit in the batch manufacturing record at visual inspection stage if we got the answer of this first why as due to glass vial breakages observed during while filling process vials with glass particles were observed more than acceptable limit in the batch manufacturing record based on this obtained answer we will ask our second why or the second question as why glass vial breakages were observed during vial filling process if we got answer of this second why as due to wrong setting of vial in feed worm at filling station vials were broken during the vial filling process based on this second answer we will ask our third question as why vial in feed worm at filling station was set wrong if we got the answer of this third question as due to operator personal error vial in feed worm was set wrong we will ask our fourth question as why operating personal error done during setting of in feed worm if we get answer of this fourth why as due to inadequate instruction in the sop for in feed worm setting and an availability of cross check setting provision error was happened we will stop our viv analysis here and conclude this investigation with inadequate sop and we will go forward with the kappa actions next question which are the alternate investigation tools for viva analysis commonly used alternate investigation tools in pharmaceutical industry are 5m or 6m tool for investigation fishbone tool for investigation which is also known by cause and effect diagram or ishikawa diagram brainstorming process mapping and some rare cases failure mode effect analysis More useful videos will be coming on this channel subscribe to channel for more videos related to our pharmaceutical industry